What do you think will happen when you click a suspicious looking Instagram blue tick for free page? And what will happen to the details you have entered in that page? What if it's a phishing link? In this video, I am going to show you what will happen when you enter details to a phishing link or what will happen when you enter a phishing site. By don't wasting any minute of time, let's jump straight into the video and you're watching the IT guy. First of all, let me explain to you what is phishing. Phishing is like a sneaky trick people use on the internet. They send fake messages or email that seem real, like from your bank or a friend. These messages ask you to click on links or share your personal information like password or credit card numbers. But it's a trap. If you fall for it, they can steal your information stuff or your important stuff. So it's important to be careful, double check messages and not click on anything that seems fishy. In this video, I'm going to show you what will happen to your details or the password or information you have entered on the site. How a hacker or a person can access it. Don't waste any time, let me show you. As you can see, I have already created a gateway page to enter to the phishing site. I have used Django Python to create this gateway page. And I have given all the necessary codes, settings and permission to be used in this page. As I run the server, you can witness the gateway page uh, with an Instagram logo and a text saying blue tick verify for free with a button say get verified. I want to add a HRDF link that connects to the phishing site in that button. And I am going to publish my gateway page using the cloud flight. I have run the local host file with the port number in the cloud flight and oh, it gets an error. Oh, it's because I want to add this link uh, to the settings of the Django Python. Otherwise, it not work. Let's try copying it and pasting it to the allowed host site. Uh, okay, and after pasting it, uh, let's reload this site again. Oh, now it's worked. Okay, our gateway page has been done. Next, I want to add the phishing site link. I have already added it to the HRF site. This is the link, Cloudflare link, uh, that is only one time usable for the Instagram Blue Tick Verify page. I just want to copy the Cloudflare URL, not masked URL. I am copying the URL here. And I want to add it to the allowed host, sorry, to the HTML HRF link. As it is only one time usable, I want to change the previous uh, code here. After copying the link of the gateway page, I will paste it to the Chrome browser of another system. And you can see it works. After clicking the button, I am introduced with a verified page, page from Instagram. Or we can see, looks like Instagram. Clicking on the apply now button, we can see the page is asking for the confirmation. Let us fill it. After filling completely with correct information, we can see a confirm email page. We can also create a OTP page also. This is used for real-time OTP snatching. This is used for the hacker or by the hacker to bypass the two-level authentication of the websites. Okay, I have completed the procedure and the phishing site is redirected to the original Instagram page. Okay, now what happened to the details you have entered? I am using this phishing site in real-time. And I am also running a correspondent terminal page at the same time. You can see the details ended have been stored and shown here in the terminal page. This is a basic phishing. Don't get fooled around these type of sites. Check the URL of the site. And there are ways, several ways we can check whether a link is phishing or not. And that also have some limit. Check the short for the section where I uh, told about this site, we can check for it. Stay tuned for the next video. The IT guy is signing out here.